I want to show you some more examples of doing detail coloring. And for this example, we're going to use another group design. And always remember that with our designs, you can add that detail to our designs or any of your designs that you create. And you can do so without having to take apart the design. You have total total design freedom on, in how you uh, embellish these designs with color and fabric. Alright, now what I'd like to do here is I'm just going to add a little bit of fabric and then we're going to start adding more color. So I'm going to go to my second arrow and then click away. And I'm going to select the panel and this time I'm going to select this sweat. Now I've got the two components selected and I'll just fill with one of my fabric swatches right here. Okay, that looks great. And at this point I want to add some color to those other swags so I'm going to click away and with my mouse I'm going to come in and I'm going to grab the two swags and that cascade and I'll click on my properties box and stick it. I'm going to click on that push pin and just stick it and then I will click on my color button right here and you see again it's the default gray. I'll double, oh actually let me go into the eyedropper. I'm going to grab my eyedropper and I want to pick one of these greens here there, that looks nice. Now I want to color that fringe on those four components. So I'm going to click away and then with my mouse I'm going to just start grabbing the areas of the fringe, keeping my finger depressed on the shift key as I grab the other sections. There, there, all four are highlighted. I'll go back over to my properties box here on the right, click my color button, and obviously they've all turned gray, which is the default color, but I'm going to grab my eyedropper, and you know what? I want to pick up a lighter shade of this kind of green. There, that looks really nice. Now I want to go in and grab that detail on the swags and the cascades and to do that I like to kind of get up close so I'm going to I'm going to zoom in so I can see a little bit better and I'll just click away so that nothing is highlighted then I can come in and I can just grab that little bit of detail and I'm going to grab the three swags just like that. Okay, um, same thing. I want to click on my color button and it turned the default gray, but let me grab this eyedropper and I'm just going to do a nice little pink just to sh have some contrast. There, that looks nice. Okay, now to finish out the cascade, first I'm going to click away then I can come in and grab that area of trim. But notice um, I can grab each area of trim individually or I can go to my third arrow here on the top. I change arrows. What do I do? I click away. <laughs> then I can come in and grab that trim and notice I've grabbed all the trim at the same time. And I can go into my properties bar click on my color button and I'm going to grab that eyedropper and just pick up that nice pink. There, that looks really nice. Now I'm going to zoom out so you can see this treatment a little bit better. And remember, we are working on a grouped design. I'm on my third arrow. I'm going to go back to my normal default mode which is the black what we call the select arrow and I can highlight my treatment this is a fully grouped design as you can see and it is um, comprised of 
the panel and the swags and the cascades and the medallions and that tassel. You can always ungroup the design and take off whatever you don't want. And remember you can, even though it's grouped, you can go in and custom detail that design without having to take it apart. Or you can just grab some of the pieces. Say I wanted to grab the medallions and the tassel and do a little bit of quick color. I'm on my first arrow. I can just quick color those items. Um, they, they Right now they are the default gray. I'll just use my handy dandy eyedropper and maybe pick up kind of a creamy color. There! So you have a lot of options on quickly filling your designs with color and fabric. And remember you have complete design freedom. You are not restricted in any way as to what you can fill and how you can fill it.